And in today's lesson, I'm going to share with you how, as a beginner, you can understand what this is. So let's zoom in and go step by step into how to learn a cello bow hold. Begin with your right hand. Imagine that the right hand is dead. Absolument décontract, décontracté, ce que je peux appeler la main morte. So now that it's nice and loose, you will start with the little finger here. Vous posez ce doigt au-dessus de la pastille du talon de l'archer, ici, juste. Et avant la première phalange, you align your fourth finger with the dot. And you want to keep it so you have the first phalange on the frog. If you have longer fingers, you may cover it. Shorter fingers may be up here. The rest of the fingers come and relax as natural as possible on the rest of the bow. The first finger here wraps on the metal piece. You see where it's discolored. The middle finger touches this other piece that connects to the bow hair. The third finger just sort of finds its way in between the fourth finger and middle finger. Your fingers are nice and flat. You're not holding like a spider. You're not doing this. You're flat. And then the roll of the thumb is even more important. Sur le côté droit du bout du doigt, juste dans l'encoche de la hausse, ici. And it is on the nook, half on, half off your frog, sitting on its right side. Put your thumb there and allow your fingers to come and naturally fall into place. If you want to learn this a little more detailed, I have a trick for you. Have your fourth finger in place and your thumb in place and release these three fingers. Balance your bow. Then allow your fingers to drop back into place. Notice how the knuckles slope down toward this direction, the point of the bow. Now let's see how this looks on the cello. We start with our right hand. Make sure that it is dead. Ah. Next, we take the bow, align it with the fourth finger and the eye just above it. And then we take the rest of the fingers, naturally lie them into place with the first finger wrapping around to apply pressure. The middle finger engaging in the middle here, touching a little bit of the metal. Everything flat on the second phalange. The thumb sits on the nook, half on, half off, on its right side. And lastly, you want to turn in toward the knuckles. The knuckles are sloping in toward the point of the bow. One more angle. Here's our hand, nice and relaxed. The elbow's relaxed. Take your hand, put it into place, fourth finger, align with the eye. The rest of the fingers drop naturally into place. Thumb goes half on, half off the nook. And then you angle your fingers in to apply pressure, making those knuckles turn toward this end of your bow. Thank you for watching my video on how to hold a cello bow for beginners. If you learned something, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and of course, share with a friend who's having struggles with understanding how to hold a bow. I will be uploading much more content regarding bow technique and how this is 80% of your cello music. These videos might be appropriate for you and I hope that you do stick around and learn with us on the Cello Coach channel.